everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing really well firstly before we dive into this video i just want to say a huge thank you for 5,000 subscribers it is so crazy that there are so many of us here now honestly thank you so much to everyone who is subscribed to my channel and takes time to watch my videos it really does mean a lot and you're also cool and kind and supportive i really really do appreciate you all. So in celebration I'm going to be doing a Q&A video. I haven't done one of these in ages so if you have any questions for me they don't have to be about books, just anything you want to know at all. As personal as you'd like, don't be shy, then just leave your question down below in the comments or DM me on Twitter or Goodreads, however you want to do it and I really look forward to answering all of your questions and chatting to you all. So today I thought I would do a different fun little video about some of the random things I have been loving over the past couple of months during lockdown that aren't books. I did another random favourites video earlier in the year and quite a few of you watched it and enjoyed it and said you'd like to see more of those kinds of videos so here we are. Thank you to everyone who is so kind and open to these kind of videos by the way, I really do appreciate it. And for those of you who don't care about these kind of videos, who only want to hear me chat about books, no worries. I feel you and I will be back to chatting about books soon. So if you do care about my opinion on fashion and fitness and TV and things other than literature, why would you really? <laughs> then settle in and let's get into it. So my first recent favourite that I want to talk to you about is yoga more generally or more specifically yoga with Adrian on YouTube. So I've been doing yoga for a few years now. I actually first got into it because my grandma goes to a yoga class every week up here in the lakes and so whenever I was back here I would go with her and it was amazing. If anyone is interested her yoga teacher is called Rebecca Edwards. She usually teaches up in Staveley up here in the lakes. Big recommend. I have been doing yoga intermittently ever since then. I have attended various different classes and since we have been in lockdown myself Cameron, my fiance, and Jade, my sister, have been full into doing the yoga. Our dog, Cooper, also joins us every now and again see picture. So we have mainly been following yoga tutorials by Yoga with Adrian here on YouTube. She is great. She has tons of different yoga videos of varying lengths and she's just really sweet and encouraging generally. Yoga is just so great. Every time I do it I feel so great and it's just been lovely to incorporate into our locked down lives. My body feels great. My mind feels so much calmer. I know that lockdown can be pretty pretty hard on the old mental health and it's just nice to keep up these little routines so I would definitely recommend checking out Yoga with Adrian if you would like to do a little yoga. Whilst we are on the topic of physical and mental health I thought I would tell you about some of the workouts that I've been doing whilst in lockdown. So I work out quite a lot I'd say. I have done pretty consistently over the past few years. I've done a mix of gym workouts and home workouts and other physical activities such as climbing and obviously during lockdown it has been all about the home workouts. So we have quite the setup here. Cameron, my fiance, works out a lot more than me and him and my mum have turned the garage into somewhat of a gym. We have a punch bag, a rowing machine, pull-up bars, some climbing training equipment, those round gymnastic ring things. See photos again, why not? So as well as working out in there and going on the odd run, I have mainly been following YouTube workouts. My favourites are by Mad Fit. She is so, so good. I will say that her workouts are quite hard. She is super, super strong. But I think her workouts are great. They are so fun and inventive so many exercises that I had never done before. So definitely check her out. Next, let's talk about a fashion thing. So let's be honest, we've been in lockdown. I have basically exclusively been wearing joggers through the day and pyjamas in the evening. But on the odd day that I have fancied putting on an actual outfit, something a bit special, I have loved wearing these dungarees. How to hold 
dungarees. So I'll probably insert some pictures around so that you can see what these look like on because I'm not sure that this is really helping. I did buy these dungarees second hand from a vintage shop so I can't actually tell you where to buy them from, I'm sorry, but they are by the make Raid apparently, they are beige all over, they are super slouchy, super comfy and best of all they are an outfit in themselves. I wear them around the house, I wear them with my Birkenstock sandals, with my docks, with any trainers. Also, check this out. They have zips around the legs so that you can wear them as shorts if you would like to. Not going to pretend that it didn't take me weeks of wearing these before I figured that out. So yes, just get yourself some dungarees if you don't have some already. So if you watched my last random favourites video you will probably know that I am obsessed with Lush. I love their bath and body stuff, I love their skincare, it is all super clean, it doesn't test on animals, it's environmentally conscious and my favourite current thing by them is this moisturiser called Imperialist. So my skin is pretty normal, it's not very oily, it's not very dry, I do tend to get a little bit oily on my t-zone and I get the odd hormonal breakout. But overall it's pretty normal I'd say. This moisturiser is meant to be really good for people who have normal skin or for people who don't really know what their skin needs and I would say that is true. This feels really really gentle, it doesn't irritate my skin, it's really moisturising but it doesn't feel too greasy and it sits very well under makeup. So if you're looking for a new moisturiser and your skin isn't massively oily or massively dry then I would definitely recommend this one. Next let's talk about some music. So we listen to quite a lot of music, Cameron in particular is a massive fan of the background music constantly playing lifestyle. So I thought I would share with you some of the things that we have been listening to a lot and loving recently. Firstly, Post Malone's album Hollywood's Bleeding is amazing. We started listening to this album a few months ago after Cameron became obsessed with the Sunflower song after hearing it in that new Spider-Man film. It's so good. This album's actually kind of different to the music that I typically listen to. I'm usually more indie leaning but honestly Post Malone is so great. It is so catchy, so unique. My favourite songs from the album are probably Hollywood's Bleeding, Enemies, A Thousand Bad Times and Goodbyes. Seagirls is another band that I am obsessed with. They are more indie, I'd say they were indie rock. We have been listening to them pretty consistently now for about a year ever since we first heard of them. They are very us. If you haven't heard of them before and you like indie music then definitely give them a go. They are so great. Listen to their song called Damage Done. It is a banger. So my next recent favourite is this nail polish by Barry M in Iced Latte. Can you see that? There you go. So I had to mention this because I have been wearing it a ton. As nail polishes go, I feel pretty strongly about this one. Now I was pretty hesitant to try this nail polish when I first picked it up because I didn't think it would suit my skin tone. I am incredibly pale, as you can tell, and I thought this kind of colour would work better on deeper skin tones. But then I thought, fuck it give it a go and I'm really really pleased I did because I am obsessed with this. It's just such a nice colour, it's really really fresh, it goes with everything. I actually think it's quite a flattering colour on my skin tone which is nice. The formula is really good too, it's really easy to apply, the brush is pretty fat, amazing. Lastly let's chat about some TV shows because let's be honest I have not just been working out and doing yoga the whole of lockdown. Firstly we have to address the normal people TV show although I'm sure all of you are sick of hearing about it by now. You probably all know that I love the book Normal People by Sally Rooney. It was my favourite book of last year and so naturally I was pretty nervous about watching this adaptation. I actually wasn't sure that I was going to watch it 
at all. Cameron is still refusing to watch it. He is too precious about the book. But after hearing so many amazing reviews about how well it executed what the book achieved, I gave it a go. No regrets. This was an amazing TV show. I think they did basically as good a job as they ever could with the book. I loved the acting, I loved the way it was shot, and it actually managed to feel a lot like the book to me, which was so amazing to me because that book is so specific. I have also been loving watching Avatar The Last Airbender. If you don't know what this is, it is a animated kids TV show in which the world is split into four nations. The Water Tribe, the Earth Kingdom, the Air Nomads, and the Fire Nation. This is Cameron's favourite TV show from when he was a kid. He first made me watch it a few months ago and I absolutely loved it. And since we have been in lockdown with my sister, we are now making her watch it from the beginning as well. It's just such a good time. The characters and the story are so good. You will love them. It also tackles wonderful themes. If you just want something utterly enjoyable to watch, then I would highly recommend this. I'm a big fan. So those are some of the random things that I have been loving over the past few months while I've been in lockdown. I would love to know what you think about any of these things. Also please let me know something random that you've been loving over the past few months. It doesn't matter what it is, I would love to hear. Again, thank you so much for 5k subscribers. Please don't forget to leave me your comments for the Q&A down below. I would love to hear from you. As always, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye guys.